Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're here at Tim's machine shop. Gonna get the block all sorted out. Knock, knock. How we doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're back today. We have our first Nissan VG33E block back from the machine shop. This block will go in the silver 2000 Nissan Xterra that we acquired first. So we're gonna take our first VG33E block. Pretty good. Freshly painted, decked, cylinders aboard, honed. Everything's perfectly round and straight. And uh, pretty happy. So this will be our first attempt to see what we can do with this Nissan Xterra. Start getting this bad boy together. I may do a quick couple of quick measurements on the cylinders again. Tim had uh, fit all the pistons individually. And one of them, I think it was cylinder number two, was actually one, three, five, two. Um, it was a little bit larger than the other one, so Tim did a great job on this block. If you actually can see here, this is the front of the block where the water pump feeds the center cooling channel. This feeds through all, all the way through here. And the freeze plug here in the back that's actually a much better way to look at this. So that was, uh, that process was pretty intense. A heavy industries machine shop, put a two foot drill bit all the way through that. And again, then I came back and cleaned it up with some long shank carbide bits and ported it. We got to do a side by side comparison here. It just makes sense. So this is the view from the back before we ported it out. And this is the view from the back after we ported it out. That's the after. Wow. This is about what these look like when we start. And this is what it can look like after. With relatively little amount of money, surprisingly. It's just care. It's finding a good machinist 
who actually cares about what he does. He's not just pushing a button and going. You know, I built a, a lot of uh, performance engines for the MR2s, but this is the first time I've tackled a longevity engine. I mean, this one will outperform the stock VG33E in any Nissan Xterra or Frontier pickup or Infiniti QX4 for that matter because of some of the other things that we're doing. But uh, at the end of the day, the idea wasn't to raise a huge amount of power. What we wanted to do is get a little more power, a little better fuel mileage. But the whole point was to see if we can get half a million miles on this truck. The idea is these Nissan Xterras are such a cool truck, but they're, they're dying. They're broken. Watch Craigslist, you see them all the time. People say, hey, I got a new radiator. I got a new thermostat. Got a new water pump. Well, I'm sorry to say, problem isn't your cooling components. Problem is that. So, can't take credit for this actually. Uh, I didn't find this on my own. I did search and search and search for a long time in forums and all kinds of other things, but for the most part, a lot of people, uh, you know, they just don't have the time or the inclination to go at it at this level, and it was just annoying me, so. I dug into it and what I found was Moto IQ actually published a, an article about how they were having trouble with these back two cylinders. So they figured out that they were getting hot. They were detonating when they were tuning these on, a, I think it was a VG33E that was built for a 300ZX, or no, it was built for a Pathfinder. There's a couple of different really great engine build threads that they did. and. After the uh, evaluation, they tore everything down and they looked in here and they said, what the heck's going on with this thing? And sure enough, they found this garbage in there. So that was corrected. They did a great job in theirs too. I think they did it all by hand. It took me a while to find a guy who could actually uh, rig up a machine to actually do that so I can do this at a little faster pace, higher volume. So... And at that rate, we needed uh, some specialty tools and a little more efficiency. And I am going in and doing a little bit of it with by hand, but um, just very, very little, a little bit of cleanup. So now. Yeah.